Hello, boys and girls, it's Aunt March once again. Oh, aren't you thankful that God let you see another year? I know that I am, and I look forward to seeing what he has in store for us. Well, as you can see, I have a candle in front of me, and we're going to be talking about light. Have you heard the term, you are the light of the world? Or how about the song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine, 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 shine. Remember that song? Well, we're going to be talking about light and finding out what does it mean. Is it talking about a candle light? Is it talking about the lights that you turn on? Well, let's see if we can figure that out. In Matthew 5, verse 14, Jesus Christ himself says, You are the light of the world. And you know who he was talking to? He is talking to his followers. He also says in 1 Thessalonians, you are the children of light. So since it says that we are the children of light, we know that we didn't make the light. We are not the originators of the light. So since we're children of the light, we must have a father that is light. And who is that? That is God. Yes, indeed. God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are light. So what does it mean to be light? Well, let's talk about darkness, spiritual darkness. In the Bible, it also tells us that those that don't follow Christ are living in darkness. Now, does that mean all the lights are turned out? No, it's talking about sin. So we're talking about spiritual things here. We're talking about going against God's will willingly. You're living in darkness. So if that's darkness, and darkness is the opposite of light, then what do you think light is? Well, light is living according to God's will and showing others how to live. And that's why it's so important that we let our light shine because others are watching and we want them to live in the light too. Well, you know, sometimes you might not feel like living in the light. Sometimes you might not feel like doing the right thing or, or acting like Jesus. Maybe you, you fail a test in school. And so that's a challenge to you. Or maybe you lose a good friend. Maybe they move away. Or maybe, just maybe, you you know, you know just get discouraged because you don't feel like you're really good in sports like all your other friends. And so all of these different things, they continue to work in our lives. And it's almost like they're trying to snuff out the light in us. But boys and girls, you know what? When we have Jesus Christ in us and we ask him to help us, he's more than willing to do so. So we don't have to become discouraged. And he works it so that the light doesn't go out. All we have to do, boys and girls, is confess our sins to him, ask him to help us, and he promises to do that. So the next time you feel like, I just don't feel like doing what God asked me to do. I don't feel like obeying my parents. I'm discouraged. Things are happening in my life. Maybe you get sick with COVID and you've got to stay home. And you're like, oh, I'm so discouraged. Pray to God, boys and girls. And he will make sure that the light that he put in you the light of living a righteous, good life, a life like Jesus, won't go out. Now stay tuned for the rest of our program. We've got a lot in store for you. We're going to be talking about a different animal today, and I think it's going to be exciting for you. God bless you.